One, two, ready, go. Different types of rock are found all over the ground. What started as a rock can become beaten down. It happens every day, whether we notice or not. Because it happens slowly, the rock cycle is an afterthought. Weathering erosion and deposition. How did this sediment end up in this position? The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. Rain beats down on surfaces and weathers parts away. Waves pound constantly and they create more sand each day. Rivers cut their valleys and erode the parts of rock along. This constant changing of the land is why we need to listen to this song. Atmospheric changes cause the air to start to move. Sometimes this wind is constant and in rocks it weathers grooves. Sometimes it picks up sand and carves the rock surface away. Because it happens slowly, we don't notice changes every day. Weathering erosion and deposition. How did this sediment end up in this position? The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. Temperature drops to 32, we get some ice and snow. Over years, glaciers can form, and through valleys, they bulldoze. This ice gets into cracks and rock, expands and breaks the rock down. You can see these ice effects on roads and driveways all across the town. We can see the evidence across the surface of the earth. Terminal moraines and valley lakes show that glaciers are at work. Floodplains and river deltas show what deposition can do. Many places on the planet these changes affect me and you. Weathering erosion and deposition. How did this sediment end up in this position? The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown.